Hey, so have you ever made a Novi or a Hangout map and whenever somebody falls under the ground you want them to respawn real quick but you're using Rooms 2.0 and you don't know how to? All right, come, come, come closer. Just, just, just come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a little secret, all right? I'm gonna tell you how to do it super fast, real quick. It's gonna get no time to set up and you're gonna be super happy, all right? So just stick with me. Awesome. You see these chips right there? Those are everything we need to do this. It's gonna be super fast. So I'm gonna grab this camera now. I'm gonna go in first person and we're gonna start over here, right? I'm gonna explain to you one by one what this does. So you have your welcome mat that you're gonna place wherever you want people to spawn, right? Whenever they join your map, that's what you have. But out of this one, we're gonna have this yellow wire, right? That's gonna lead us to these two. We're gonna need to know where it is, so get its position, and which way it's facing, so get its rotation. If you see there, there's a little arrow, right? That tells us, like, it's pointing that way, so when you spawn, you're gonna be looking that way. All right, so that chip right here, get rotation, is gonna do that for us, all right? And then, now we're gonna want this get local player. That means it's gonna be whoever it is, that's to be the local player. You are the local player for yourself. Everybody's the local player for themselves, right? So for the local player, we also want to get his or her position, right? So we're going to grab that, turn it into a vector split. That's going to give us an X, Y, Z coordinate thing, right? So that's like, where in the world are you in terms of, you know, actual positioning? We're going to only need here, we're only going to need the Y. Right, because the Y tells you how high are you in the room. Right now, we want to know if that Y is less than I use point three just to give it a little bit of you know wiggling room over there. But you can do minus one or wherever you want it, just adjust it to wherever you have this in your room. But for me, the, the floor right here, right, the, the road, it's at zero. So when it, I want to know if somebody is like under the map, minus three is already more than enough space, all right? So that's gonna give us a uh, true or false that we're gonna use for these equals, but we're gonna want something else for these equals. So from the player again, we have this player get is jumping or falling. That's gonna tell you if it, somebody is jumping or falling, this is exactly what it says, right? So right now, for example, for me, that will be false. And the other one is also false because, you know, I, I'm not at minus three, I'm, I'm above the ground right here. So both of them are false, but if both of them were true, which is how this equal ship right here works, at, at the same time these both are true, then boom, this, this other wire here, proof, sends a true to this if, right? But if only one of them is true, so if I jump over here, boom, I'm jumping, I'm jumping, you see that light up? But I'm not under the map, so it's not gonna trigger the respawning, right? So you want both of them to be true. Once that happens, this if, I here I have a, a it's, I call it mine hertz, I changed it so it only is a one hertz, so it shoots one per second, so if you see it sticks one, two, three, right? Instead of a 30 second event, but you can have it on a 30 second event. I just, if you wanna learn how to do this, leave a comment down below and I'll teach you how to do this. But this only fires once every second, right? So once every second we're checking. If you're jumping or falling and if you're under the map at a minus three or lower, right? Once that happens, I wanna respawn you. So who are we respawning? The target of the respawner? Well, the local player, of course, right? Because this is running for everybody. So you want the local player to be the target. Now we're gonna need those position and rotation because that's gonna tell us where to respawn to, right? So the position and rotation we grab from that that uh, welcome mat over there, those are where we wanna be respawned at, right? And one thing, and this is a tip, right? I'm gonna turn the camera real quick. This is a real uh, quick tip. A lot of people, like to use set position and th that's fine it's fine but see that's instant it's gonna teleport you like boom and it sometimes it's like very you know confusing for people it's like what happened where am i right there's a way to do that too that keeps your you know where you were facing and your momentum and all that stuff is more complicated than that so instead of using set position i'm gonna recommend you guys to use respawn instead because with respawn you're gonna get the respawn effect you're gonna clear the velocity so that means if somebody was falling poof they're not falling anymore if they were running forward boom they're not running forward anymore right and we're gonna use the nice res effects so you get that cheeto dust 
and everybody's happy and that works and see that's it like super quick you got yourself a respawning system you can mess with the with here like if you want to put a bunch of this in, in your obi or whatever or you hang a map you just want it to be like over zero and then you can put this minus three i might make this a free invention post it in the store so check back later and yeah see how easy that was i told you man super quick come back later subscribe remember to subscribe i'll keep doing some more of these quick hacks and tips and tricks and all right man i'll see you next week ciao